Good morning, everybody. My name is Pastor Adam Bad. I'm the children's pastor here at Revive Wesleyan. And I'm very excited because we have child dedications in just a moment. It's a special time in our church, and I'm reminded by our worship song that God is a God of miracles. He is still doing miracles today. And these amazing children that I'm excited to introduce you to are definitely proof of that. So if I could have the dedication families come on up here with me. As they're making their way, I just wanted to invite everybody to our next family fun night. It's coming up this Friday evening. It'll be at the Hamburg campus in the quads and in the lodge in the evening. And we'll be playing some fun games as teams so you can come with your friends or as your family. And we'll be competing against each other. All right, come on up. Here you can slide down a little bit more towards me. <laughs> yep. Here are you guys come in the front. Perfect, thank you. All right, great. So as I said, today is a very special day in our church because of these families. Child dedication is a way to remember that we also as a church body have a duty, and it is not just up to these parents. Hey. <laughs> the parents up here are representing families, and they understand that they are the primary influence in their children's lives. And I think we all understand that not only is that an important role, but after everything that's happened the last couple of years, I think we understand that we need to be in this together, to have family and to have friends, and almost just, if not equally as important, have us as a church body to help and encourage. So I ask that you'll be praying for these families as you see these children growing up in the church, that you will bless them and smile at them and just help them along their way. The parents here have committed to the following things I just want to share with everybody. One is that they understand that their children are a miracle of God and created in God's image and that they will love their children unconditionally. They have a desire for their families to follow Jesus and to walk in a Christian household. They understand, like I just mentioned though, they won't be able to always do that alone and they will be relying on their friends and on their church family. Before we actually do the dedications, I want to share a Bible passage. This is from Mark chapter 10, verses 13 through 16. It says this, One day some parents brought their children to Jesus so that he could touch and bless them. But the disciples scolded the parents for bothering them. When Jesus saw what was happening, he was angry with his disciples, and he said to them, Let the children come to me. Do not stop them. For the kingdom of God belongs to these children. I tell you the truth, anyone who does not receive the kingdom of God like a child will never enter it. Then he took the children in his arms, placed his hands on them, and he prayed for them and blessed them. All right. So first, who are we bringing to be dedicated today? Jesse. All right. Everybody, this is Jesse. <laughs> All right, I'll invite you to pray along with me. Jesse, I dedicate you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I pray 1 Corinthians 15, 57 over you, Jesse. Jesse, that you, you will always give thanks to God, because you give him victory through the Lord Jesus Christ. And may everyone know how powerful and incredible God is, because how great he made you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, and who do we have next? Guinevere. Everybody, this is Guinevere. <laughs> All right, let's pray. Guinevere, I dedicate you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Father God, we pray Matthew 5, 8 over Guinevere today, that she would shine your light so that when everyone sees the good things she does, they will praise you, Father, and know how incredible and amazing you are because how amazing you made her. In Jesus' powerful name we pray, amen. All right, if you could just join me for a moment in encouraging and congratulating these families. Great job. And I'll invite you to just close in a prayer with me as well. We thank you so much, Jesus, again for this day. Thank you for these amazing, beautiful families. We pray that you will be with us and be with them. Guide, provide, and protect us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.